I'd like to work through another example now, which reads, if an object is placed a distance p is 30 centimeters in front of a concave mirror with focal length of 12 centimeters, what is the position i of the image and the lateral magnification m of the image? And remember, we're going to continue to use our same expression for how we calculate these things. Um, I've drawn a little picture here just to get us started. This says it's a concave mirror, so it's always pushed in like that. Our object is uh, out in front by 30 centimeters. In the problem, we're given that the focal length is 12 centimeters, and this actually has the correct sign on it, sign meaning uh, positive or negative, because it's a concave mirror. The center of curvature is over on this side, and that means the radius of curvature is positive, and the focal length, f, is going to be positive. Notice that the distance of the, to the object is quite a bit further than either the center of curvature or the focal length. The center of curvature is going to be double that focal length of 24 centimeters. And maybe I haven't quite drawn this to scale yet, but you get the idea. So if I go to our expression, 1 over i plus 1 over p is equal to 1 over f, or 1 over i is 1 over f minus 1 over p. I just brought the 1 over p over to the other side. I can now start plugging in some numbers. It's 1 over 12 centimeters minus 1 over 30 centimeters. Uh, if I want to put this over a common denominator, uh, least common denominator is 60. So this would be 5 over 60 divided by, or minus, excuse me, uh, 2 over 60. And that's 3 over 60 or 1 over 20 centimeters. This means that the image distance is 20 centimeters and notice that it's positive. That means that the image will be over on the real side of this mirror. And the magnification, which is always minus i over p, is minus 20 centimeters, which is the image distance, divided by 30 centimeters, which is the object distance, which is minus 0.67. That means, because it's a negative number, it's an inverted image. And when I think about drawing this, I've more or less got this right now. Um, I've drawn an image right there, which is inverted. It's upside down relative to the original object, and it's smaller than the original object. Maybe I've, again, not drawn this perfectly to scale, uh, but it should be about two-thirds the size of the original object. So these calculations teach us quite a bit because they teach us where the, ob the image is. It's in front of the mirror by, I believe we just calculated, 20 centimeters. And it teaches us how big the image is. It's about two-thirds as big. And it teaches us its orientation. It's flipped relative to the original object itself.